and we have just shown you the download and upload speed for the 5 gigahertz network This is the TP-Link Archer AX11000 Tri-Band Wi-Fi 6 Gaming Router. TP-Link is the world's number one Wi-Fi product provider for consecutively 10 years. This router has got a powerful processing featuring a 1.8 GHz quad-core main CPU and three core processors. It has got a 2.5 gigabits per second WAN port with 8 gigabit LAN ports and USB 3 Type A and C. It has got an ultra fast Wi-Fi. It is tri-band, 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, and dedicated gaming band. The total Wi-Fi speed is more than 10 gigabytes per second. As this is a gaming router, it has got a game accelerator with automatic detect and optimized gaming stream to keep low latency. It also has got a game protector with a free lifetime subscription on home care security that provide antivirus protection and ensure total security while gaming online. It is one mesh supported. So you can cover your entire home with TP-Link One Mesh Range Extender with one network name. We're going to unbox this and set it up using the Tether app. So these are the contents in box. It has the Archer AX11000 router with its 8 antennas, the power adapter and the power cord, a RJ45 Ethernet cable, this is CAT5E, a quick installation guide, and a little flyer to guide you if you can't connect to Wi-Fi 6 products wirelessly, and also a TP-Link Wi-Fi info card, where you can write down your SSID and your Wi-Fi password, as well as your login account. Next, we'll show how to attach the antenna to the router. So take one antenna, and this slot goes into one of the eight slots on the router. So take the antenna with the slot, and simply slot it into the router repeat for the rest of the antenna the antennas are now attached to the router at the front of the router there are three buttons. From the left, you've got the WPS button, where you press this button and immediately press the WPS button on your client to start the WPS process. In the center, you've got the Wi-Fi button, where you can turn the Wi-Fi on or off. And on the right itself is the LED button. You press the LED button to turn on or off the LED of your router. Now on the right panel of the router, that is where you can find your two USB 3.0 Type A and Type C USB ports. At the back of the router, from left to right, here are the buttons or ports. It has got the reset button 
which is a pinhole. It has got the 2.5 Giga WAM port and then it has got 8 LAN ports followed by the power button which is an on off push switch and finally you have got the power port where you connect your power adapter cable to it. After connecting the antennas to the router, it is now to set it up. Over here, you can see the optical network router from our internet service provider. It has been powered off. Connect the ethernet cable that came in box from the ONR to our TP-Link router. Connect the Ethernet cable to the 2.5 WAN port. Next, let's power on the optical network router. While waiting for the ONR to power up and restart, you may connect the power cord to the power adapter for your TP-Link router. Once the ONR has restarted, plug in the power cable into the TP-Link router as shown. Plug it in into the power port over here. Turn on the power at the wall socket and power on the TP-Link router by pressing on the power button over here. You can see that the LED on the TP-Link router has lit up. Once it has reached a state of either a red LED or a white LED, you may use the Android phone or via the web browser to set up the router. The TP-Link router has started up and the LED state is solid white. So we will use the Android phone to set up the router. You can scan the QR code on the bottom of the TP-Link router. For this case, we will scan for the Tether app needed to set up the router using the setup guide or the quick installation guide. So let's open our camera on the phone. Go to the web address. Let's install the TP-Link Tether app. Once the app is installed, open the app. You need to create a TP-Link ID if you do not have one. In our case, we have already gotten a TP-Link ID. So we will log in. Key in your TP-Link ID and password. Log into your account. There are no devices found. Let's add. We'll select gaming router. We'll select Archer AX11000. I've already connected my hardware. The LED is solid on. We'll allow location access while using the app. There are no devices found. We will use the Wi-Fi to set up since Bluetooth connection is not working. So follow the instructions which is to get the Wi-Fi info located on the bottom of the router. We will use our phone to connect to the network. So let's do that. 
Let's go to our Wi-Fi settings. We'll select TP-Link 5G. Key in the password that is on the label at the bottom of your router. Once the password is keyed in, select Connect. Once connected, go back to the TP-Link Teeter app. Select I'm connected. It has found our device. Select that. We need to create a local password to manage our device. Let's do that. Create and confirm your password. So we need to select our connection type. We'll select dynamic IP. Go to next. We'll leave our MAC address as is. Go to next. For smart connect, we'll disable that. Because we want to have a separate 2.4 GHz wireless network as well as a 5 GHz wireless network. So for the 2.4 GHz, for the SSID, we'll key in as technology tips 2.4. Finally, this is the 5 GHz 2 wireless network. Once you have selected the SSID and password, go to Next. Confirm and apply your settings. Let's apply. Now, we can connect our mobile phone to the network. Let's do that. So once you have connected to your network, you can go back to the Keter app. Congratulations! You can now enjoy the internet. And so, this is how you set up your TP-Link Archer 11000 router using the TP-Link Keter app on your Android phone. Select Finish.